you know, so the, the Greeks themselves were aware that they were drawing on it. And obviously, right, they were, they were worshiping Isis. <laughs> you know, there's this. Absolutely. Absolutely. So to say that Egypt is not contributing to the, the growth and development of what becomes Western culture would be a, I mean, even the Greeks themselves, they knew it, they said it. They were proud of it. Mm-hmm. Right? You know, yeah. the idea that Africa cannot be the source of anything good is not one that the ancient world would have accepted. It certainly wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have been their default position the way it was for Petrie. <laughs> right, right, right. That makes sense. The where expert. was Alexander? Wait, wait. Where was Alexander from? Stop, stop. Stick a pin. Where is Alexander from, yo. Thank you. It's Thank you. His bro. father was Macedonian Greek. Yeah. His mama was a Macedonian yeah, yeah, Greek. Yeah, what yeah. is going on here? This I nigga just no said he was African. Man, he on, just man, said, whoa, whoa. I said the right, location of Greece and the interchange Mm-hmm. See, this, this is the thing. Here's the hilarious thing. You guys, in the the tropics. Thing. you're suggesting it's that only not Egypt, in the tropics. you're suggesting that only Egypt oh. out of all of the nations in the Mediterranean, Mediterranean had a mixed population. Yeah, the, the ancient, the, the whole like Argive dynasty traced its, its origins to a civil war in Egypt that, that led to an Egyptian king fleeing and, and moving to Greece. It's kind of an involved story. I mean, Hmm. It's interesting. What more can I say? Okay. But in fact, if you practically, if you if we walked into ancient Egypt, everybody would have been most people would have been more or less black by our standards anyway. It's what you want to see in people. Right. Man, that's a good answer. We're gonna we we're gonna have to break that answer all the way down. Maybe. What?